built some new aquaponics trays um, for my riparium tank. These are my axolotls. There's one right there. Um, and this is working in tandem with some previous filtration that I I used. This is a repurposed under the sink water filter for your house for drinking water. Um, so the way this works, I'll show you guys. Water is pumped up through this sponge filter. This is a homemade sponge filter. Can't really see it, but that's a water bottle, a drinking water bottle with some holes poked in it and it's stuffed with polyester stuffing, pillow stuffing and a water bottle hooks perfectly up to a MaxiJet 400 power head um, which is just an inline pump so water is being pumped up, here's that sponge filter running along there water is being sucked through that sponge filter so my first um, mechanical filtration, biological filtration is being pumped up out this hose and into this filter. Um, this first chamber is a sediment filter, another source of mechanical filtration. This is just a 30 to 50 micron, um, I don't know, cotton filter. And this is a activated charcoal um, carbon filter. So into this one, out, into this one, out, where it runs along the front of my tank through this black hose, dips down, comes back up before it enters my aquaponics tray on the side here. These are my custom aquaponics trays. The ones I sell to the public are a little bit different, so it works for everybody's situation. Um, comes in through the side and exits these two outlets and runs along the growing medium, these clay beads, which is another source of biological filtration. Every one of those beads is super porous and has a crazy amount of surface area um, for the beneficial bacteria to, to live and thrive. And as well as the plants using the, the nutrients to or using the waste, if you will, for nutrients to grow. Um, water runs along the tray before falling out through a series of holes and acting as a spray bar and oxygenating the water there. Got some water movement. Um, the amount of surface area, just with the water surface area that this has created, will increase evaporation and drop the, the temp a degree or two and um, I've just just planted this one uh, and I just planted this one today but in about three months it'll be looking like this you know and sending off new shoots and babies and you know I'll be able to to build another one based off all those babies and anyways just a just another idea. These are like $40 off Amazon. The replacement cartridges are pretty cheap. They sell them at Home Depot and they last for about a month or two. Um, you know, two months for the the carbon charcoal filter, two to three months, and then a month or two for the, the sediment filtration. But yeah, hope that gives you guys some ideas.